time for another uh, unpolished, unvarnished uh, reflection from an Enneagram 5 wing 4, which I feel as though the past week I've been going real hard into both aspects there, being highly cerebral and then also highly emotional. And uh, here's what here's what's been settling in me. I like this quote from Ram Das. Two quotes, actually. The first is, uh, the only thing I can do for you is for me to work on me. And the only thing you can do for me is for you to work on you. Uh, that's the first quote. But then the second one really, really gets to me as well. And it's, the only thing I can be is a loving environment for other people to do their work. And those quotes probably come to mind because in some ways I probably haven't been doing them. You know, uh, our, our, our most helpful insights and, and learnings are often the result of our failures more than our successes, right? It's like second half of life type stuff, young and roar. We can spend a lot of energy trying to change the world and forget to change ourselves. And if I want to take that second quote from uh, Ram Dass and, and bring it into synthesis with my own understanding of Christian spirituality, it would be this, right? The only thing I can be is a loving and Christic environment for other people to do their work. So by environment there, this is cool. It, it makes me think of uh, Pierre Teilhard de Chardin, who talks about the divine milieu that we can create an environment or a milieu. Some people might say aura, um, just a, a circle around us by which people can hopefully feel safe to put their guard down and to peek out from behind the curtain from within whatever bush they're hiding and to venture out into new territory and begin doing their own work that helps them to grow and to heal and to become who they're supposed to be. Again, the, like these quotes probably come to mind because I haven't been doing them. It's probably something in my own subconscious is like, you could do this better. <laughs> you are not doing this and you need to do this better because actually the most loving thing you can do for other people is to work on yourself. And the most loving thing you can do for other people is be a loving and Christic. By the way, Christic for me means anonymously Christian. The only thing you can be is a loving and Christic environment, milieu, um, safe space for other people to do their work. So I don't know what the goal of this reflection is. I just wanted to share it. I think it might be helpful for someone else out there in the digital landscape. So yeah, maybe today, make it your conscious decision and put every effort forward that you can, even just for like an hour if you can, to change modes and do what you can to be a loving and Christic environment or milieu for other people to grow and to heal. Hmm. Yeah, grace and peace.